Hi, and welcome to our Brexbox tutorial. In this video series, we're going to create a business application in Brickbox from scratch. Our imaginary business case is a music store, let's call it uh, Gita Shop 360. And for this Gita Shop, we need uh, an order application, addresses, items, so basically everything what you need to sell something to your customers. We will start with very basic and simple applications so you get the idea behind Brixbox applications. And then as the video series goes on and on, we will enrich that with new functionalities, uh, quality of life and uh, other improvements. We will implement uh, invoices, delivery nodes and so on. Most of the videos will get a specific topic so that you always can come back later to a specific video to learn certain things inside Brixbox. Our goal for this first video is to create the address application for our uh, Gita Shop 360. Uh, one thing before we start here, um, keep in mind that Brixbox is under development, so uh, your UI, in speci especially uh, in the config section, might look uh, slightly different uh, from what you see in this videos, but you should get the idea where to click and where the uh, specific functionality is. So let's get started with our address application. Before we start with the application itself, uh, we need a table to store the data in. So for that, I open the tables designer and I will create a new table and I will call it address master so uh, I will give it a prefix uh, ADR for columns so every column has to have this prefix before it so that isn't important at the moment but it could be beneficial in future steps when we um, get more complex SQL statements um, and then the readability of this statement um, will get improved. So I recommend use uh, using a prefix, but it's not necessary. So I will create that and then I will edit this table and add some columns to it. There is the ID column for every table and um, this is mandatory. You can't delete or rename it. So I will add some columns and uh, I would like to add five columns uh, just for the beginning. And it is a name, first name, street, zip code and city. They're all pretty similar. Uh, I use our prefix ADR name. And um, the type and varchar is correct for a column type like name where we have a a description of some kind. Uh, I will give it a length uh, of um, a max of 250. Could be shorter, of course, uh, but 250 is uh, max lengthy. Um, I leave it, it, it could be null, so we might add a company name later and the name and first name isn't used then, so I'll leave it to can be null. That's fine for me. I, I could change it later if I decide otherwise. I will create that. Add some more. ADR first name. Um, you know, I use uh, camel case syntax um, that makes it pretty readable for me. But naming conventions are totally up to you, so it's your choice. Uh, me myself as a developer, I'm used to camel case syntax. Uh, it avoids unnecessary spaces uh, and so on. So I recommend that, but it's up to you. 250 for the first name as well, and ADR the street, 250 for this as well. Uh, the zip code, I think 15 for the zip code should be okay. And last but not least, the city, and 250 for the city. So. We could add state and province and country and, and, and 
but uh, we will do that in later videos. So uh, now that we have our table and our columns, it's time to create our application itself. So I go to the apps application and uh, I will create a new app and call it address master as well. So this is our new application and I will open it to edit it itself. Um, I will, we start at the structure view, that's the default uh, view we have for our application. But for a new application, I would like to go to the app properties and give it a proper title. title. Uh, I call that address master. That's just the readable title so it's, it doesn't have any functionality and um, more important I choose a master table and that is the table we created uh, recently so I assign a master table to our application so that's the, the default table where this application loads and saves its its data from yeah you get it so uh, I changed the structure view again and um, so of course we don't have any uh, controls in it now. So I would like to add um, controls for our uh, columns and I do that for the first column. Um, for any control I have to choose a control type and uh, for our name column I choose the type text box. I give it a label name and more important, I give it a data property and this data property is the name of the column in our master table. So that is ADR name. And uh, yeah, that's it. I will save that just for to be sure. So at this point, we have a totally running legit Brixbox application. We can create um, we can create a, a, an address here. I saved that the record is saved, and when I click on the list button, I will have a address master list with uh, an entry hello and just the name. That's it. So this is the application up and running and we're fine but of course we need our other fields but at this point that's all you need to have a running application basically you have a running application when you have when you don't have any fields but then it doesn't do anything so let's add the uh, missing controls here do that with a always a text box and then we have ADR first name I give it a label so that we know what we are typing in here and add another one. And this is the street. So I add another one. that the wrong name that's just zip so this is saved uh, I see all my fields here and yeah I could open that in standalone mode and uh, choose a record so this is just hello and let's uh, give that the first name world that's kind of weird but you get the idea. So, so now we have modified our our first record and have a second one. So, 
Yeah, I have a second column in it. Uh, so I will close that here. Uh, now we have an application, but we can't open it except from the config editor. So we are going to create a menu endpoint to uh, open that application from for convenience. So for that, I open a menu. And at first I will create a folder. Um, at the moment, it's not possible to add a Brixbox application to the first level of the menu. It has to be in some kind of folder. I will call that master data. And uh, I could choose the item I know I want to use database, so I don't have to look that up. I leave uh, the other fields empty because it's a folder and I will create another one for our endpoint. Uh, addresses, I call it addresses, and uh, I think that's address card. I choose the application I want to start in that menu endpoint, and I choose the mode I want to start it in. I want to start it as a list. So at first I get a list of addresses, then I could add, uh, I could click new or edit the existing one. So I prefer list in this case. So no additional parameters, I click OK, and then I have to move that address under the master data, data uh, folder, hit save, and then I uh, reload my workspace and I have my menu endpoint master data with the addresses application in it. I get a list of my addresses and I can edit this one and uh, store some more information here. As you see, I, I, I'm not famous for my uh, creativity on, on demo data. So um, yeah, that's it for our first step in our new uh, Guitar Shop 360 application. In our next video, we are going to add some input validation and uh, some styling. At the moment, it's uh, yeah, just a, a list of fields, and they yeah, kind of are next to each other, but kind of are under each other. So there's no structure in it. We will add some structure and some input validation, and um, then later we will create an item application. So uh, see you in the next video and have a lot of fun with Brickbox.